Let's talk about GitHub and open source projects. Um, there is some kind of statement that GitHub makes about open source, but I really couldn't figure out what it is that they wanted me to put in this course. Uh, when I took the exam, they definitely had some kind of um, uh, PR kind of language and saying, oh, what do you think that uh, uh, is GitHub's relationship with open source? So just do your best to guess that. I really couldn't assemble it here. So it's hidden in some kind of PR content. But let's talk about the practicalities of how GitHub, uh, GitHub works with open source. Uh, one thing is that when you create a repo, you can choose a license for easily. I imagine that it's from that OSI approved list. And then when you go to repo, you can see the license clearly displayed. Um, and that will be stored in that license.md. That could be license.md, license, or license.md with all caps. They'll all work. If you're looking to find open source projects, you can use the search to search based on license. Um, you, uh, there are many open source GitHub repos that are hosted on GitHub um, because GitHub offers a lot of stuff for free to uh, good open source projects. Some people will mirror their projects, so maybe they don't host it primarily on GitHub, but they'll make a copy and they'll sync it so that it has redundancy of where it could be. You can use, um, uh, you can explore under to uh, GitHub topics and GitHub trending in the community pages uh, to try to find open source uh, projects based on whether they're popular or for specific categories. You can follow organizations and um, you can sponsor organizations. And so that might be one way of doing that. If you're utilizing the GitHub Marketplace, they have a bunch of apps in here. And a lot of these are open source projects and they'll have, uh, you'll be able to install them for free. So that is uh, something else that is really interesting. Um, but yeah, there you go.